Warner's Recording Studios. Can you hold? Yes, I'll tell him. Thank you. Master Studios. I wanted to talk to you about that new job opening. Why, you want to be the new sales rep? No, but I want to talk to you about who you're going to hire. Well, we're going to hire the best person for the job. There's no reason that person can't be black, is there? Listen, Tyrone, we've been through this before, OK? Look, I don't want to cause a stink about this. But if something isn't done, I'm going to, all right? OK, I'll look into it. We'll see who applies for the job. Cool. Hey, Bob. It's encouraging to know you're listening. Thanks, man. It's a grand canyon between listening and doing something. Either you're independently wealthy or you have a death wish. Well, I'm neither. But sometimes you have to be willing to walk when your self-respect is on the line. Yeah, well, respect is great, but I like to eat, too. Well, that's cool. So you really think Mr. Stevens is a racist, don't you? 85% of the artists you record in the studio are Afro-American. The management's 100% white. Need I say more? Mm. You should apply for that sales job. Huh? <laughs> no, thanks. I just learned how to work the phone systems. Why not? You're smart, friendly, attractive. Unqualified, untrained, uninterested. And bursting with self-confidence. <laughs> it's just that I'm a singer. That's what I do. You can always find a thousand reasons why you shouldn't. We just gotta find one why you should. Well, it pays about 35 grand a year, but I mean, that's... Where do I sign up? Mr. Stevens' office. I'll trade you my sandwich for your cooking. All right. But do I take the white stuff out first? <laughs> Come on. No, no, I mean, you have to meet this guy. He's fantastic. He's drop-dead gorgeous. He's charming. He's witty. And he's got a job. So what's wrong with him? Who said anything had to be wrong with him? Well, you know, Daisy's theory of men reads, if it's something really good, there's got to be something really, really bad. Hey, there is nothing bad, all right? He's even a member of my congregation. Tyrone's in charge of the relief effort for the rebuilding of the church. Oh, my God. He's worse than great. He's perfect. You know what, Sierra? I bet he's an axe murderer or something like that. Please. <laughs> Why don't you bring him to dinner Tuesday night? OK. No, he's a convict on the run. That's it. Daisy. Sure your mom wouldn't mind? No way, there's always room for one more killer at our table. <laughs> so is he really perfect? Does he have a brother? <laughs> I have this bizarre philosophical question I need answered. If I don't answer this phone, does a person on the other side not exist? Why do I even bother talking to you? Well, listen, hypothetically, nobody could be on. Mr. Carlson. No, Jesse's not here right now. Yeah, I give him your messages every time I see him. OK, later. Well, why don't you just talk to your dad? Because maybe if I don't pick up, he won't exist. Find anything you like? Oh, that's nice. Does it come in green? You know, what you're doing here is a real nice thing. Mm, it's no big thing at all. I've been a member of the First Baptist Church since I was seven years old. With the money we raise here and at the benefit, a lot of people are going to be able to get their church back. It's a real big thing. So, are you looking forward to your interview? We want an honest answer. Well, you're heading into that mean white corporate world now. You best lie, my sister. No, oh, in that case, I'm fine, man. Just be cool. You know, I was wondering, uh, maybe we could celebrate when this is all over. 
You know what? That's a good idea. I got some people I want you to meet. Hello, Jess. Oh, your friend Johnny let me in. Hey, Dad. Well, whoever said a synthesizer was a substitute for a piano anyway? Probably the guy who invented it. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't return any of your calls, but uh, I've been busy. Four months, that's a lot of busy. We're out of coffee. You, you want a beer? No, thanks, I'm fine. So, this is, uh, where you live? Yep. Sweet home. Very... bohemian. <laughs> but not the home of a potential concert pianist. Although it probably wouldn't be half bad if you had some quality furniture. We're fine. It's comfortable. I've got a client in the furniture business. I'll call him. Dad, you didn't come here to talk furniture. No. No, I came to talk family. It's your mother's birthday Saturday. Anyway, we're having dinner at the house and she'd like for you to be there. She's really missed you, Jess. And while you're there, we can talk about you returning to Juilliard. Just think about it, okay? Oh, and Jess. I've missed you, too. I'd say make yourself at home, Sierra, but it looks like you already have. Mr. Stevens, um, I was early, so I just decided to let myself in. Please, sit down. So, you've been a receptionist here for, what, five months? And now you want to move up to sales rep. Well, what sort of experience do you have? in there for two hours. You know, bake it at 350. Sorry, there wouldn't be room for the turkey. Come on, move. Come on, Jesse, move. Sorry. What's the matter with you? I had a visitor today. My dad. What did he want? Me? You two still haven't made peace, huh? What's the point? We've been at war so long there's no one left to kill. Well, you know this problem isn't going to go away between you two. We should just sit down negotiate. Stanley Carlson does not want to negotiate. He wants me to go back to Juilliard. Well, well there... plates, come on. And what do you want? Everything that's right here. So I'm feeling about three inches tall after Mr. Stevens catches me in his office. And then what happened? I don't know. I remembered that 35 grand a year, and suddenly I knew what to say. Well, what sort of experience do you have? Life experience. Life experience? Humor, Mr. Stevens. Passion. Being able to get people's attention. That's what makes a good salesperson. And do you know the thing that I'm most passionate about is music? All kinds of music. Jazz, hip-hop, funk, blues, fusion, all of it. <laughs> See, I know what's good, and I know what people want to hear. 
You see, the trick to sales is to believe in what you're selling. And nobody believes in music more than I do. Well, if anybody can change Stephen's ways, maybe you can. Why, thank you, Tara. <laughs> Zones, this is really good. Thanks. And thanks for making a place for Tyrone. Well, my pleasure. So, Tyrone, they tell me that you're an engineer down at Master Sound. Yes, I am, sir. Going on three years now. Have you worked with any of the greats? Not yet. I work mostly with uh, young black artists. Brothers making it on the cutting edge. Oh, that's cool. I like to come down and see you work sometime. I'm a Sinatra fan myself. He's not bad for a white man, but he ain't no Ray Charles. You know, uh, we play down at Billy Kay's a lot. I'd like you to come down sometime. I think you'd like our style. And what style is that? I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. It's kind of like uh, R&B and dance and funk and tribal rhythms. What you mean is you're a white boy playing black music? Um, no, I think you're picking a fight with the wrong people. We play what we love. You know, and, and we're not making any money doing it, if that's what you're saying. Not yet, anyways. Look, we incorporate a lot of influences, okay, but we make our own sound. What you're doing is you're taking our music and making it your own sound. If you haven't noticed, we're not all white either. Well, that's debatable. Hey, brother, man. We're just people making music that feels good. And what feels good about selling out, brother, man? All right. All right. Let's keep it light. Let's talk about politics and religion. Pretty cool. No, I'm talking about this necklace. Look at it. It is beautiful. Yeah, it really is. So are you. Yo, 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 yo. Guys, maybe if we practice, then we can get a gig, and then you can get your beautiful necklace, huh? <laughs> <laughs> from my dad don't you think look can you please take it back what are you nuts you want to hurt your dad's feelings johnny i don't want it here okay can you guys please take it back no 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 wait 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 wait, 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 wait. Well, i'll make up your mind will you yeah okay look, you don't have to sit on it oh yeah i'm so comfortable i can stay here forever wow <laughs> Chair with arms. <laughs> Guys, it's a bribe. My dad's been trying to buy me off. And he wants me to go back to school, and he wants me to come to dinner with him. So go, what's the big deal? All this just for your mom's birthday dinner? There are strings attached. I don't know, it is a real couch, Jesse. You want to keep it? Fine. You too. But you come in to dinner with me. I want you to see for yourself. My parents are the the real rich. See, 
Yeah. What is all this? It's the attack of the killer marketing graphs and charts. That's what it is. They take over the world, and before you know it, you're really... Really what? Really confused. Can you believe all this stuff? Tyrone, I'm a singer. That's what I do. I don't know anything about marketing shares. This may as well be Latin. You'll be fine, baby. Just take your time. We'll figure it out. Listen, about dinner, I gotta work tonight. Oh, come on. Everybody else is going home. I got a few cuts and I gotta be ready in two days. I'm sorry. Well, you know you still have to eat, right? What, what are you up to? Where are you taking me? Your table's ready. Wow. <laughs> you know this will never work. And why is that? Because Daisy says that perfect men turn out to be a lot of problems. Well, I'm not perfect. Oh, you're not? I'm almost perfect. Oh, and then I guess it makes it okay. <laughs> Do you know the other night at Mary's? I didn't know you felt so passionate, so protective about black music. It's not just music. It's everything. When the white man is continually getting rich while the black man is getting ripped off, Financially and spiritually. I mean, this studio is just a real world made small. When I was seven years old, I came running home from school one day crying my eyes out because some kid I'd known a long time called me nigger. And it really hurt because he was my best friend. But from that moment on, the line was drawn. And everywhere I look now, I see that line. Well, that's what's so great about Catwalk. They accept me for me. And believe me, that's not so easy sometimes. I doubt that. No, really. They bring out stuff in me I never knew was there. It was always there, baby. Was it? I want you to do something for me. Good morning, heartache. You old gloomy sigh. Good morning, heartache. But we said goodbye last night. I tossed and turned till it seemed you had gone. But here you are with the dawn Wish I'd forget you But you're here to stay It seems I met you When my love went away Now every day I start by saying to you Good morning, heartache What's new? Stop haunting me now. Can't shake you, no how. Just leave me alone. I got those Monday blues straight through Sunday blues. Here you go again Good morning, heartache You're the one who knew me well Might as well get used to you Hanging around Good morning, heartache Sit down
You have got to play at our benefit. So, Catwalk does the benefit. Cool! Right on! <laughs> Yeah, this is the kind of surprise I like. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah? I guess I was wrong about Tyrone. Oh, well, that's mighty white of you. you. Guys, excuse me. The benefit's on the same night as the Krager gig. Well, I guess we can kiss that new empty goodbye. Well, just call your dad. He seems to be in a buying mood. We've got to do that benefit. Well, look, why don't we just kill the paying job and play a benefit for people who lost their church, you know? Yeah, cool. sounds cool. Yeah, that's a good idea. Daisy. I was looking forward to that money. Okay, okay, I'm in. Woo! Right on. <laughs> Happy birthday, darling. Thank you, my love. Well, what do you think? It's beautiful. It is, isn't it? Oh, yeah, real nice. Well, then, everybody's happy. She's got her necklace, and I've got my box seat at the baseball game. <laughs> no, thanks. You know, that, uh, that Thursday night, we saw Jean-Louis Hockenhauer conduct the Seventh Symphony. Really? Have you been to the symphony this season? No, we pretty much just... Sit at home and crank up the stereo. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, we ran into Mrs. Johnson at the concert. You remember Mrs. Johnson's son? Well, he just graduated from Yale. And what college do you attend, dear? Mary doesn't go to school. Well, right now, we're just trying to make ends meet. I'm a partner in my dad's business. Oh, yes? And um, what kind of business is that? We fix cars. Pardon me? Like a brake and muffler chain, that uh, kind of thing? No, I mean a small business in the South End. I'm a mechanic. I see. And your father? Oh, he's a mechanic, too. Best in town. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Look, she's not just a mechanic, okay? We play in a band. She's a great musician. You play in a band? Is that why we sent you to Juilliard? I left Juilliard. <laughs> For six months, Jess. That was our deal, but that time is up. <sighs> Maybe you could come hear the band play sometime. I think you'd enjoy the music. Mary, try not to take this personally. You seem like a very nice girl. But with your background, you may find it difficult to understand the kind of future we've planned for Jesse. This really has nothing to do with you. Oh, of course not. We approve of whoever he is dating. It's just that, well... We've invested a lot in this young man. And I think you'll agree that we have a right to protect our investment. Why are you so mad at me? I'm not mad at you, Jesse. I don't even know who you are. What are you talking about? The Jesse I came in with is not the same guy I sat next to at dinner. You're a different person in that house. Don't you get it? That's why I left. You didn't leave. You ran away. Hey, I told you my parents were jerks. Yeah, well, it runs in the family. I can't believe you didn't tell them who I was. You told them. I told them because you wouldn't. And then I defended you. No, you apologized for me. No, she's not just a mechanic. That isn't what I meant. Damn it, Mary, what do you want me to say? Okay, thanks. Bye. 
What's wrong? Come on, what's going on? I just had a talk with Stevens. And? He fired me. Well, why don't you try apologizing to him? Say what? He should apologize to me. I ain't gonna apologize for nothing. I don't understand how something like this could happen. I mean, it's not like there's suits, ties, and degrees on the wall. No, no, it's about how business has always been done. It, it's about the white man trying to keep the black man in his place. If you think blowing me out is gonna shut me up, I tell you what I should do. I should sue him. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sue his ass. That ought to change his tune. Whatever you do, I'll be there for you, all right? Ride is ride, my princess. You ready to go? No, actually, I'm not. I want you to meet Billy Kay. He's offered us the club for the church benefit. No, no, wait. This is a white club. Somebody say I'm white? Now, come on now, who started that nasty rumor? Right, what's the problem? Is free? Is that too much? There is no problem. Look, it's got nothing to do with you, man. It's just the way things are, all right? Hey, well, that's too bad. Because it don't have to be. Are you crazy? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the bigger picture here. You don't know what you're talking about, girl. Do you hear anything besides the voices in your head? This benefit? It's about more than you or me. It's about more than black and white. It's about green money. And we can make a hell of a lot more green at Billy Kay's than we can anywhere else. Don't prove Daisy right. And what's that supposed to mean? That perfect men really aren't that perfect after all. It's gonna be great. Yeah. So what are you gonna wear? I don't know. Maybe something Tyrone would like. You know, something black. black? <laughs> Hike the feet up, babe. Sorry. Can you believe I let lunch go by without eating? I think I'll go make something, you know. A couple of slices of bread, some salami. Out of earshot, in the kitchen. Well, she's really subtle. Hey, you hear the one about the insensitive jerk and his beautiful, loving, caring, intelligent, forgiving girlfriend who... Puts up with them? Yeah, I have. I bought you something. You buy me something and you think that's gonna make everything all right? It's an apology, Mary. No, it's not. It's a bribe. Just like your father bribed you. Forget it, Jesse. You left something. Aren't you being a little too hard on him? You wanted to see me, Mr. Stevens? Yes. Please, come in. Make yourself comfortable. You know, I think of this business well, it's a big family. I've always believed in giving family members the first shot at whatever, well, whatever this company has to offer. How'd you like to be our new sales rep, Sierra? You're kidding me. 
I never kid my family. You want the job? Yes, of course I want the job. Great. Listen, I'll have Connie send you in the market share breakdowns for the last couple of years. Okay. Great. Cool. Good. Now maybe we can get back to normal around here. Excuse me? Yes, before this little uh, misunderstanding we had with Tyrone. Misunderstanding? Right. Uh, I assume that uh, we understand each other. Wrong. I'm not the person for this job. Excuse me? You see, if I take this job, you're going to expect me to ask Tyrone to drop the lawsuit, right? Sierra, I think that you're selling yourself a little short here. If you think that I'm going to be your token black woman, think again. Because, see, you're not giving me anything. You're taking something away. Now what's that? My dignity, all right? right thing, baby. No, I did the only thing that could be done. I had to be able to look at myself in the mirror. It only proves that I'm right. You can only depend on your own. And that's why I shouldn't let you talk me into Billy Kay's. Look, baby, I'm sorry. I really am, all right? Here, check this out. It's the musical lineup for the benefit. Yeah? This is great. Impressive. But look, you put down my name, not Catwalks. Yeah? Well, um, I'm a singer in a band, not a solo act. Well, here's your chance to show me your stuff, baby. Look, this show's about pride. It's about what black people can accomplish without white people leading the way. But they won't be leading, and they're not asking for any credit. Sierra, this show is about one common goal. People supporting each other, caring about each other, getting along. It sounds like catwalk. I don't know how to make this any plainer to you. You show up with catwalk, and we're through. You understand? This is about you and me. But they're my friends. I can't do that to them. Anyway, I've already told them. Well, if they're your friends, then they'll want what's best for you, right? Tarana. And if they don't want what's best for you, then they're not your friends. Man, just go talk to her. Hey, I tried to apologize. She refuses to listen. Go on, man. Let me give you credit for effort. Just tell her what she wants to hear. It'll be over. I tried that. Come on, go talk to him. Who do I talk to? The Jesse I thought I knew or the one he turns into when his parents are around? You talk to the guy you fell in love with. I mean, he is doing his best to stay away from them. Can't get creative like lie or something. Well, I can see why you guys are still alone. Oh, man, you're a jerk. Who's alone? Well, Look, Mary, you're not dating his parents. You're dating him. He'll get through this stuff. You just have to give him some time. OK, children, let's rehearse. We're wasting time. We'll have to start with Ed Sierra. I'm sure she's knee deep in work for the benefit. I got to give her credit. What she's doing with those people is so cool. Look, if you guys want to hate each other during the number, that's fine, all right? But let's just do the number. Oh, good. Pull up a mic. Hold up, guys. About the benefit? Well, it's not going down as we planned it. It's not happening? 
Benefits get canceled all the time. The benefit wasn't canceled. Catwalk was. What? You mean we turned down money to be blown off by Tyrone? I know, and I feel really bad. I do. I'm really sorry. But it's not my fault. Tyrone, he only wants me. So, in other words, what you're trying to say is Tyrone only wants blacks to perform at the show, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, Tyrone's messed up. Because everybody here just wants to do their part. Yeah, that's, that's all right. What do you know, man? All right? The guy's dissing you and he's dissing me. Bunch of crap. Can you let it down just a little more, maybe another inch? The skirt doesn't have another inch. Turn around. Mary, can you call Tyrone and tell him I can't make it? Well, I would, but he'd only accept half my call. Come on, you won't be alone. We'll all be right there with you in spirit. It's gonna be really weird up there without you guys. Well, that's the way Tyrone wanted it. Tyrone has made it hard on all of us, hasn't he? We'll be okay. You look beautiful. Well, then how come I feel so bad? You've got a right to listen to what Tyrone's preaching. It's just I don't want you to lose your voice in his. Tyrone's respecting me because I'm black. He's not respecting me as a person. for a peace talk. A famous lawyer once told me, never negotiate where your opponent controls the room. That's uh, not what we're doing, negotiating. I'm not going back to school. You don't know what you're saying, Jess. No, Dad, for the first time in my life, I actually do. I want you back at Juilliard. Jesse, I just want you to reach your fullest potential. No, you don't. You want me to be what you want me to be, not what I want to be. Your girlfriend's put these thoughts into your head, hasn't she? No, actually, I came up with that one all by myself. You can't buy me anymore. It's red, it's hot, and it's yours. You're gonna need these to get you home. Would you arrange to have that furniture picked up on your way? Brothers and sisters, for your listening enjoyment, the pure soul meltdown sounds of Sierra. This benefit means a lot to me. We're going to get to rebuild the church with the money we raised tonight. And, and I want to thank person who has made this possible and who has worked so hard, Mr. Tyrone Williams. I 
I'm grateful to you, Tyrone, for helping me understand what this event is all about. People helping people, supporting each other, sharing one common goal. But it's not enough to just get along with the folks you like. We have to work at getting along with everyone. And that's what this next song is about. Thank you. 